This is Rhonda Brooks of Farm Journal Media. I'm in South Central Michigan near Jackson with Missy Bauer, Associate Field Agronomist. And Missy, what's going on today in this tillage plot? Well, we are harvesting a tillage plot here today. Uh, we're looking at some different tillage systems. So we have a system out here that would be vertical tillage where we ran a sulfur 9700 in the fall, followed by a sulfur RTS in the spring. So a true vertical tillage program. In this comparison I have here, the other comparison was just a disc ran in the spring, which would have put a layer in there. So we've got two root balls that we're looking at here. Uh, this first root ball we'll take a look at is from where we had ran the disc. And we can see that we have definitely can pick out where this layer's at, uh, how the soil broke away from here pretty evenly. And we've got some roots growing out sideways. Now we do got some roots that are getting through, but we have a lot of roots that are coming out sideways instead of going down or that have really reduced their size to get through that layer. This other example where we had the vertical tillage in the fall as well as in the spring, we've got a lot of our main crown roots coming right down through the heart of this root ball, which is what we're looking for here. So we're going to go ahead and harvest this plot today and uh, see what type of effect we had on as far as with the yields based on the root systems that we've seen out here today and as well as an evaluation on the ears themselves. Here's that two ears off these examples. So this is our disc only plot here and this one here is our vertical tillage. So we are seeing a slight difference in the size of the ears here so we'll see what we end up with yield today as the combine comes through here.